Welcome back. This is the GSL Code S. Our viewers don't have Legacy of the Void Beta Edition. That's right. Welcome, Welcome my back, untouchables of the StarCraft scene. <laughs> you someday will have a beta, yeah. and then you'll be playing it. That's right. But, but for now, that. you just have us you have and these great a. players. So. But we'll always be there for you. Yep. We're Except for probably you. we're both going to take tomorrow off and no one's going to cast. Because <laughs> the beta is finally open. All right, so last game, Seed played macro, ended up beating Sue. It was it was nicely done. Uh, overgrowth. Let's see if Seed is going to do something really tricky all in, or is he going to try another macro game, man? It's hard to say, right? I mean, three macro games in a row, that's a tough one to pull off against Sue, but he might not have any other choice. In the upper right, in the red, he is. Dignitas Seed. In the bottom left, in the blue. SK Telecom T1 Sue. I was just thinking of stupid puns with Seed's name, and then I thought of an anime called Lob Ueki. Anyone out there watching this like that one? I like that one. It was a really good one, I thought. I really liked it. I have never even heard of that one, actually. No, I, you don't watch too much anime. You know, it's weird. I used to watch it a lot more, um, like, late high school, early college. And yeah, I think I, just, I ended up in the wrong crew. Like, I, I didn't have people. You thought I was initially the guy that was, like, the one that would find all the anime. But I needed, like, the anime guys I did know that, that were in my university were just, like, like, I would show me anime, and I'm like, this is bad. This is bad anime. I'm not digging. It. I don't even remember the names of the stuff they're showing me. So I kind of fell off. But there was I a, did there was see a period uh, with a Attack on anime. Titan. I, I really liked that, that, that was one fantastic. So much. I can't wait yeah. uh, for the rest of that to come out. Yeah, me too. Uh, very excited. But about no, that. I'm, I'm sort of uh, out That's of the anime. That's actually still being made, too. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, well, I mean, like the manga's still being made. Mm -hmm. The story yeah. isn't complete, so that's cool. But uh, well, Game I of actually, Thrones isn't complete. But we're gonna know what's not in those books pretty soon, man. Yeah. <laughs> Before I. Uh, came to Korea, I used to watch anime all the time. Every day I would watch. Like, There's all I did a was lot play of Starcraft great anime, anime out there, man. And watch anime in my time in between Starcraft. Mm -hmm. But since I came here, I've watched almost none. Yeah, it's sort of happens. all about the environment you're in for what what your, what your hobbies you're nerding on. Uh, definitely, definitely. Anyways, looks like uh, just a safety opening here from Seed once again. Definitely a map that you can play a macro game on as Protoss. Uh, Sue going into three bases in a safe manner as well. So we'll just have to see what Seed wants to do after that Cybernetic score. It'll be a little bit. Thank you all for tuning in, of course. I know that there are a lot of uh, Legacy of the Void beta streams you could be watching. Yeah. Or you could even be asleep, but this is actually a good set of games today. <laughs> <as far> as <laughs> he let the stream run. He passed out. Yeah. Or, uh, you know, it is the middle of the night for a lot of the viewers. Yeah, it is. We have the cybernetic score. I think there's a high chance this game looks similar to the last game, at least as tech development goes. Although I don't think we'll have the blink into the DT part. No, I we might don't just think have so. the blink pushing into a robo. Yeah, that's uh, that's definitely much more common. I mean, I I don't know if I want to see him do anything. Like, uh, do you think Seed could pull off? Like an Oracle opener? Well, I mean, it's not uh, that much harder or that much different from just a regular The thing is, I don't think third. he'll beat um, Seed with an Oracle opener. Or Sue, you mean? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I don't think he'll beat Sue with a um, an Oracle opener. I feel like, Sue, how many finals did he get when everybody was doing Oracle openers? Yeah. I mean, he's they're sort just, of... They're really in style right now is why I'm thinking about it a I mean, little those, bit. Those openers just bounced off of uh, Sue, no problem. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. I think just like a build like he did last time, maybe skip the DTs or something. You know, just something like that, yeah. Because the DT part actually kind of got him behind in a way. <laughs> but the move out timing was very strong for him. It was it was it was an interesting game. I liked it. I like little variations in normal builds. You know, like you learn the most that way, I think. Okay, we have the two links coming up now. Let's see if they actually get in here 
uh, and do any scouting. Scouting, one of the most important things you can do against a player like Seed. Yeah. Is he going to get a block up here? Oh, he's just going to let is, him in. Yeah, and he's going to scout nothing, which is going to throw him off a little bit because this is like the quickest third ever in this matchup. This is actually an old build. Yes, it is. This is Very. a old build before the Stargate was uh, incorporated. Mm -hmm. Uh thing is, it can be a very good build, and the fact that we don't even have speed started for Sue tells me that Seed has chosen a very good build for this I game. I agree. I agree. Like, this is, in fact, he's walling in. <laughs> oh, never mind, never mind. Okay. Oh, you thought I you thought he was walling in with the Twilight. I'm like, no way. <laughs> uh, well, this is greedy, but, I mean, this might just work. There's no punishment available. Like, he's making, he started Roach Warren, he hasn't started speed. Lair just started, and he's made a ton of drones. So, Sue has to go macro here, but Seed has the leg up on the macro because his third is so quick, and there's nothing that Sue can do. So, like, Seed should be feeling fantastic here. If he just macros very clean. Oh, DC Shrine, of course. Uh, and that, that I did not expect, but I, sh I guess most I really not. should not be surprised. Yeah, and you know what? I do want. I here's the thing, because what I was going to say. Let's say that we I can't see the DT power up like so many stalkers and blink. Yeah, yeah I was gonna that's say, what like, I thought was going to happen. As long as he hits his pylons and does his warp and rounds, he is going to have an insanely big, really great, fantastic army for this game. That's going to be very hard for Sue to contest. He's going to be able to delay the fourth base over and over and over, and have an advantage in that way. And that's going to be a game that he's in a strong position. That's what I was going to say. Now. Thing is, that's what Sue is thinking right now. So, will Sue make spores? That would be one of the first things you'd think about possibly cutting out. Uh, and we see that, you know, he's just, he's getting into Roach. He's going to get into Hydra as well. And this, it's a very good choice. Base. And, hey, I like it. He's He just wants to power up on layer units and get a better economy going because he knows that this is a tough spot. But, um, uh oh, it looks like he might just have the Dark Shrine. going to turn around. Oh, man. All right, he knows. Those stalkers did a rain dance around that thing to try to make it turn. <laughs> Didn't work out. Uh, that is really rough for him. Did he cancel? Uh, yeah, he did. Okay. Which he probably sh probably had to do. I don't I mean. Whoa, he didn't cancel. Okay, well, you know what? He doesn't have to use it, though. Yeah, he, I, he really does not have to use it. It's I fine. think I'd make one DT. Yeah. Because I'd agree. feel dumb if I didn't make one. I'd be like, be oh, like, God. Oh, I made I don't it. All these people do. are watching. They might not understand <laughs> why I didn't do that. Yeah. You ever had that, something like, like that. One of yeah. your friends is watching. You're streaming or something. You're like, well, I don't know if the people that are watching would understand like, why I'm doing this. Yeah. But like, I guess I have to use this carrier now. <laughs> <laughs> it's halfway done. I'll let it finish. It's probably okay. Uh, all right. So it got scattered. Uh, like there were some interesting things about that dark shrine. Feeling a little bit reliant on that type of play, but okay. Uh, now, C or uh, Sue rather, good creep spread. Roach Hydra has that gold base at the moment. Seed needs to move out and start pressuring behind the gold. That is exactly what needs to happen here. Yeah, um, Delay mining, do some force is, fields. How many like intervals of 10 seconds will this gold base remain up yeah. before he pushes? And I know that sounds like a weird thing I'm saying, but I mean, every small period of time where you just start to rake in more gold, mm -hmm. the amount of roaches uh, Hydra's lings you could make to hold off something like this is insane. Yeah, he's already starting to burst out a lot it of units. It is cuckoo crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, See, that's a lot of units already, man. Like, this is the right play, by the way, to move out like this. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to let him even get behind there. Yeah, once you get into that behind area, like uh, Protoss can kind of outmaneuver you and utilize the terrain and force fields to pick off drones, pick off units. So well, good positioning here. Here's what a gold base does for you like that. He's already maxed out. Oh, and man. the 12-minute marker's here now. <laughs> so that was pretty fast. Yeah, definitely on Roach Hydra. I guess he doesn't have to worry about that whole making an army thing. <laughs> he tied up all those loose knots. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now, it's, it, you're, you're very right. It's actually very comical the way that you're presenting yeah. it. <laughs> and it is comical. Like, that's a very fast max considering the type of units that he's made. Yeah. Uh, Seed <laughs> literally needs to just sit back. He needs to sit on top of ramps and utilize force fields until he's maxed. And if he can get to max against this army, he'll win. Because it's like layer army, you know? It's so... Okay, he gets the Mothership Core. Don't forget, Seed had not remade a Mothership Core for a while in that last game. Yeah. 
or at least if he had remade it that last game, we didn't see it for a long time. I know we eventually saw a second one, but definitely wasn't with the army when it was supposed to be. Um, All right, this could be really good. Yeah, because Zerg, Zerg's spine. actually maxed out. Here's where Zerg actually has to attack. He's like, I'm going to lose these units so I can make more to defend. Mm. Okay, decides to go somewhere else. Uh, all right, let's see it here. He needs good four seals, but he's he just going to go. He's going to oh, go for the third. Oh, seed, you're out of position. Oh. Well, this could be a very good warp in, but can he save his third base? No, he's not going to save the third base, but uh, I guess if he takes a really good trade here and does damage with the the uh, warp in, that could that could get him into a position that's okay. Oh Urgh. my God, this is so much damage. Yeah. I mean, who cares about these zealots? <laughs> like, no, they, they killed two drones. Yeah. Like, I mean, they're so it's like, well, I know how to move my drones, so probably the zealots yeah. won't do anything. Right. I have more than one place to mine, right? Uh, C just got out of position there for a moment. Yeah. It, which, it was tough because you have to use twice as many force fields if you don't get, quote, unquote, out of position. But Well, now the counterattack's going to be from Seed, and I think Sue is going to eat this attack. I'm like watching a nerd yeah. swim into the mouth of a whale right now. He doesn't have force fields. Right. Oh, okay, no, he has four sentries. Well, I mean, this well, is a pretty good army. It's the flank. Oh, the, the flank God. is the problem here. Yeah. yeah, that's quite a flank as well. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Drones are coming out here like, not today, my friend. And, and uh, Sue returns to code Sue did it. Excellent. He ate that nerd, man. Mm-hmm. He ate that nerd like that nerd was hot dogs at a hot dog contest. Did he rip them in half? And he dipped dip them, them in, in water. water. Yeah, you know about that too. Whoa! He dipped them in water. Whoa, we know. We're both champion hot dog eaters. Yeah, that's a secret you guys don't know. They know everything about all the sports. <laughs> um, so the greatest casters. The greatest casters in the world. We could cast a hot dog eating contest. We would actually, I bet we could make it big casting hot dog eating contest. Yeah, We'd run the hot dog casting eating Like, did you know that they, those hot dogs are made out of pigs that were stacked in cages on top of each other? <laughs> <laughs> That's some great color commentary there. That's good. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, so this game is done. Over. Over. All right. Uh, I mean, I think C played like reasonably well in this series, but Sue is a, an opponent you don't really want. Yeah, uh, you know, it's kind of sad. C had easily the hardest player you could really have in Code A. Um, this is not a final, so Sue is probably not going to lose. Uh, yeah. Although, great news, guys. <laughs> Sue is going to be in the next GSL Code S. Yeah, that's that's the important thing to remember Woo! here. Uh, unfortunately, Seed, he's going to have to go back to the drawing board here. That's a tough one. But Sue returns, and that's important. We almost got the whole crew back together, Tasteless. Come on, SOS. We almost got the whole band back together yep. for one final great show, the GSL Season 2, 2015. Well, it's going to have to be Season 3 because Zest didn't make it in the code. Oh, that's true. <laughs> But that's that's where right as GSL actually, Kodas starts up. Zest pops it. out of the ground like a WWE moment. I'm like, oh, we thought he was dead. He's not. <laughs> Hits Sue with a folding chair. I got I to gotta check again tomorrow before the cast on who didn't make it into Code A that's, like, obvious there for might be, There might be some people that we missed. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I must be We actually have a ridiculous someone. number of players to keep uh, track of out here. So yeah. did not go to set five, so no Iron Fortress for you guys, at least for now. Ever. Ever, <laughs> ever, ever again. Sue wins 3-1. Seed had a good standard game, but Sue, um, he's too good at shifting gears, flipping a few switches and dials there to adjust his play style, and uh, in the end, he overcame Seed. Congratulations to Sue. He'll be going on to the GSL Code S. We are going to go to a short little break. When we come back, we'll have our final best of five before we wrap up the games here for today's GSL Code A.